my name is Eddie Toffey. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat markets. I'll start with Kansas City. There are some differences here compared to Chicago, notably the absence of a suitable bump and run reversal top trend line below the market. The extended fall from the double top back in late May halted a not dissimilar distance away from the rising long moving average currently at 595 that the lows back in late March and late April as well. Subsequent pull back up to the area of the 50% Fibonacci line of the very recent move at 650 and holding it. That is similar and not an anticipated I suppose. However, the market formed another smaller double top over the last four weeks and we've seen the outcome of this as prices this time went a lot lower in relative terms to the long moving average. Enough that we breached it and closed on it yesterday. As I said earlier, um, the opportunity for a bearish bump and run reversal top does not exist here. So what does? Well, right now we have two seeming options. The first is to regard the action since the height of May as a type of bearish halfway hesitation with potential down to the 522 area. A really big ask that is. Or we have a possible double t bottom in construction since early May bit early to be sure or not so sure on this one. So we're left with two ideas. An overtly bearish one that is a big ask, a big ask, and possibly a bullish one that is still nascent. Until today I'd favoured the bearish one, whatever the size of the ask it may have been. However, today's action of a possible pipe bottom that is attacking the upper time currently at 626 of the May to June bearish shift pitch halt certainly makes a strong case for the idea of a possible double bottom. So let's see what happens in the next week. Minneapolis wheat. You have got to admire this contract. I have repeated this now for a number of weeks now going on for probably months. But there are once again a number of differences here in this country compared to the Chicago and the Kansas City contracts. For starters and perhaps perhaps supremely important, the August December 2020 bullish Andrews pitchfork, which has run this market higher so successfully, is still still valid. Yes, it still works brilliantly. We are in between the overhead middle time, well, we're around the overhead middle time currently at 776, and the lower time currently at 702. This is so different from the others. Next, the top formed here over the start of May is not a double top, completely different from both Chicago and Kansas City. You could argue that the peak was a sharp angled and lopsided head and shoulder top, but I think that would be stretching it a bit too far. That's the earlier peak. Next, the June high so far exceeds by a considerable amount the high of May, something you don't see in the others. Finally, I suppose it is where we are in the market cycle here. Nowhere near the long moving average. With the short moving average inside the market so to speak and the rising short medium moving average currently 728 along with others, the other moving averages well below the market and not being either capped by them or having their support being tested. Today's move up is interesting as it looks very much like a bullish engulfing pattern at the moment uh, and the testing of the middle time overhead is indicative still along with the big bullish shift pitchfork that the bullish incentive is alive and well here and until this bullish shift pitchfork is broken then it will continue to show the bullish angle of attack of this market. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>